Hello, good evening, and good day. This is your friend Jim Rayner, here with another cast of StarCraft II. Let's go to the cam. And here we are, I am facing off against Illyrian, the blue zerg, on the lower right of Daybreak. I am your friend Jim Rayner, spawning on the top right position as the Red Terran. Alarian happens to be a friend of mine. I'm very privileged to know him, to play him, and to befriend him. Um, now, Alarian is a fairly little-known player in the StarCraft community, um, but for some reason he has never gotten the notoriety that he really deserves. Believe it or not, um, he's he's been on a little bit of a bad streak, which explains why he was able to properly match up with me, but uh, if you haven't heard, Alarian actually won the uh, ISL Cup for three years in a row beginning in 2003. That's ISL, that's the Iceland StarCraft League. And he just blew everybody away with his incredible macro and micro. Uh, this is a guy that can actually play, and this is not an exaggeration, I'm not being hy hyperbolic, he can play blindfolded. He's that good. He's got actually a custom-made Braille keyboard that he brings to his um, events and uh, blindfolds himself and that man just owns. I mean, he I don't know how he does it. He has some kind of a sick sense of smell where he can actually feel the pixels on his monitor and um, just determine what he should be seeing. I don't know how he does it. But at any rate... Um, the two of us are facing off against uh, against each other. It's just a friendly match, non non ladder match. And uh, as you can see, I'm I pulled my uh, scout early. I just did a one depot to uh, to scout just to see if I could drop an eBay on his expansion. But he did a hatch before pool. I think it might have been 15. And uh, so he's already he's already on it. You can tell his his macro is really sick in this game. Um, and why settle for one drone when you can use two to uh, to try to kill off my SCB? Just proves the um, the level of skill that we're dealing with. So my my build, of course, is um, you know racks to expand. Um, no gas yet. I'm just macroing. A little friendly banter there. He calls me friend, but that's really sarcasm. No, I'm kidding. He is a good friend. Um. So one racks to do expand, and then I'm going to load up on uh, on barracks. I'm just going to make lots and lots and lots of barracks because I love my marines. So Illyrian probably should uh, sac or, uh, saturate his second, but he's too busy bantering. Three guys on gas. He's just about to start the metabolic boost as soon as he can afford it. Almost there. Why not get a second gas? And uh, I'm going to create my wall. No gas yet. Keeping the supply depots going. Not much to tell here. Good queen out. Yep, going to saturate that gas. Inject your larva. Go ahead, Alarian. He's... There we go. There we go. Four racks. I need to start making marines. There we go. Marine, marine. Cluster them all there. Not really worried about him doing a backdoor run by. I'll have to worry about that later. But So my intent really, uh, and this is what I do a lot with Zerg, and sometimes against Protoss, although I shouldn't do it against Protoss, is... I'll just get a cluster of marines and then just run all the way to their base just to see what I can see. Not necessarily to engage, but uh, just to give them kind of a um, a little bit of a scare like, oh gosh, here it comes, and they're trying to just get the game started. It Against Zerg, depending on if he has sufficient Zerglings, uh, it usually doesn't do any damage, if any. It doesn't do any damage at all. 
um, but it does serve to at least cause him to make units rather than drones. So my first push is coming out. He's going to see it here coming out in the tower. Let me bring up the uh, income tab. All right. And he's actually uh, three units behind in workers, which is good because he's got all this stuff. And, you know, put my mules in the equation and you can see how my income is sufficiently bigger than his. Allowing me to handily throw away my uh, my marine force. Um, I'm the loser in that engagement. He has a standing army and I do not. But um, let's look at units lost. You can see the uh, actual, uh, you know, our results are pretty comparable when you consider the cost of the units. Um, I'm also producing on five barracks. Where are you? Five barracks. Uh, just getting my gas is saturated here. My next priority will be to create add-ons and get my upgrades. I'm not going to bother with marauders. I'm just going marine heavy. The whole game long. Marines and medvacs. That's all I need. And he knows that. He's seen me play before, so he creates a Banley Nest. And he's ready to go to take out a uh, large pack of Marines if he needs to. Allowing himself maximum surface area if I run up the ramp so he's breaking down the rocks. Meanwhile, I'm bunkering down. Let's go to the Income tab. Yeah, we're just about even at. We're even out on the harvesters. My mules give me an advantage, as you can see still. He's grabbing a third, wisely. Well, I'm not going to grab my third yet. What I want to do is get my uh, factory and my starport up, flip those, get an armory so I can continue my upgrades, and then I worry about getting that third. Meanwhile, pumping marines and FCVs, making us supply depots. My food count higher than his by 87 to 73 and I know I played up Illyrian skill level earlier um, and believe me he is that good um, but he had been consuming large quantities of alcohol during this game so that kinda gave me an edge over him but he's still macroing like a boss look he's already grabbing a fourth and he's aware that by this time I should be grabbing my third so he wisely sends you know a couple of uh, zerglings to intercept any landing command centers that might be flying nearby and he's got control of the watchtowers he's got very good overlord coverage to see if any drops are coming his way so you know he's no slouch Pretty soon I'm going to be wanting to scan his main just to see what kind of tech path he's taking. And um, taking a chance, yeah, Mutas could take out the uh, the floating factory. But um, in my experience doing this build where I'm obviously marine heavy, uh, the counter is not Mutas. So I'm not as worried about Mutalists coming to take my factory. But even if they did... I'm probably going to be fine with this one starport. Probably. Some in some cases, if the game lasts into the uh, the late game and I have to deal with broodlings, then well, or broodlists, then by golly, I'll have to make another starport or another factory to make another starport. Um, but I'll deal with that bridge when I get to it. Right now, I want to just see what I can see. All right. So my first air unit going to be a Viking. I'm going to just A move, queue up a bunch of A moves. I missed this. I wanted to get basically clear of the air of any scouting overseer overlords. So it's got one kill already. Valerian is feeling this, I'm sure. But. No, he's not going to be supply blocked. Yes, yep, he just got supply blocked. I want to point out the APM. That's some pretty stellar APM. Capping out at 246. I saw that. 
That's only that's something that only pros can do. Okay, um, it looked to me like I couldn't land this guy, so there's some little critter down there that's blocking that. So by golly, I have to send the cavalry. And he knows I'm going to send the cavalry because he's sending his. And I'll meet you in the middle. I was really hoping I could PF that guy before all this crap showed up, but it's just not the way it worked. You know, if I had sent every one of my Marines, I probably could have taken that guy out. But I wanted to make sure I had a backup on my base. One thing about this build is it's a fairly busy build or it's a fairly busy gameplay I should say and um, I always 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 make sure there's at least um, you know some Marines back home because while I'm out and about creating chaos and mayhem I don't want to um, have a zergling band of zerglings punch through my wall and take out my economy so he sees my drop and he's going to be sending uh, a welcome party over there to see what he can see. Yep. He was hoping to find a command center there, but nothing's going to happen. Um, meanwhile, I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. I'm thinking maybe I'll just try to kill off one and kill off a few of these banelings, one SCV at a time, just to clear the air. But in the meantime, I'm going to drop. Now, look at this. It's like he read my mind and knew I was going to do this exact thing. Spore crawlers, enough to take out every one of my medvacs. So all I'm left with is a few marines. Thought, why not go to the front and just blow a few more marines on banelings? Meanwhile, secure one of my thirds. Later, I secure a second third. At the same time, I'm dropping on his third. So he sends a pack of zerglings over here. What are we going to do about that? Nothing. Okay. What are we going to do about that? Nothing. Okay. Taking out his economy. Let's go to the units lost. I'm losing. I've lost a grand more units. I figured why not just PF this thing. I know it's a few hexes away, but it's better than nothing. But he got me into the red, and I wasn't quick enough to repair because I was kind of preoccupied with at least getting this guy started. Now that's a lot of banelings, and I saw that with my command center and my drop. But there's nothing I can do about it. I gotta deal with it so sooner or later. May as well deal with it now while they're trying to morph in. He takes everything out. He's feeling pretty good. He's thinking, all right, I'll go the rest of the way. Thankfully, I have a couple of bunkers ready to go. Didn't spread my Marines out enough. I, if I did, I would have still had a few Marines, but that's okay. We kind of evened each other out and look at the uh, units lost. It's about even now. So I'm going to go through this again, through all this crap. No, I'm not. I'm going to just sit there and wait. All right, Marines, save the day, please. I really need this. This is going to be my third. I'm practically broke, and I've got nothing. I've got no army. I can't even remember what I did with those two guys. They might have just sat there all game long. All right, now I got another command center. Do I? No. No new command center on the way, but this is pretty secured. So I'm going to come out and just see what kind of damage I can do. Physic let, let the game. The action, he couldn't handle it emotionally. So he really had to bug out. I think these guys sat, sat there the whole game long, now that I think about it. All right. Now look at this guy. Talk about manners. Alright, get those banelings before they morph. Hurry, hurry. No, no. Back up, back up. Get in the medvacs. You don't want to lose everything yet. This is pretty much all I've got. I wanted to do a drop, but that's not happening there. Maybe I'll go over here. No, 
that's not going to happen either. So I thought, well, I don't want to lose everything, but I know I'm going to have to deal with these banelings sooner or later, so I thought I'll just drop my marines one at a time, try to do uh, as much uh, cost-effective damage as I can. One marine might take out three banelings. I can do that all day long. That's pretty cost-effective. But when the queen showed up, I realized anti-air is on the way. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to be able to sit there for long, so I thought I'll just drop over here, see what I can do there. Spore crawlers, again. After I dropped, I ended up back in my medvax a little bit further out of reach. And he tries to run what by, but that's not going to happen there. And I'm going to try to grab my fourth, but my boy is trying to be cute. So I'm going to have to send my marines over to take care of that. Meanwhile, i got a few on the way to reinforce. Every marine counts. Alright, I'm going to take that guy out pretty handily. Uh, been upgrading. I am 3-3 at this point, And a bunch of Ford SCVs there. They could probably go to work over here. If I was smart enough to move them. I'm just a guy, man. I can't multitask as good as Alarian. And here's a free hatchery. No static defenses to worry about. Yay! Three, three Marines on the way. I did a scan up here earlier, so I knew that I needed to take care of this next. And just as soon as this creep recedes, I'll be able to drop it. Away we go. Just need to spread these guys out a little bit. Minimize his surface damage area. Bum bum bum. And Illyrian has left the game. So that's how you take out a three-time champion of the ISL. Lots of Marines, lots of upgrades, lots of micro. Thank you very much. Y'all be cool. Have a nice day. Hasta la vista. Arriva derci. Hasta mañana. Let me stop this thing.